This video is about ensuring that an eSIM profile is error-free. Concretely, this means that the profile follows all the rules from the relevant technical specifications from Etsy, 3GPP and the TCA. I will give you an idea what different types of rules exist by some concrete examples. I'm going to explain this by ingesting some errors into a profile in Comprion's EUICC Profile Creator tool, which comes with a rule engine that will then in real time show us the errors at the bottom here. For this purpose, I'm using error-free test profile from the GS. The most basic rules regard the syntactical correctness according to the specifications of the Trusted Connectivity Alliance. Let me delete, for example, a comma over here, and you see immediately that an error is shown at the bottom here. So I revert this to move on then. Also, the encoded data needs to follow specific rules. As an example, let's look at the ICCID over here. The specification defines the last digit to be a check digit, which needs to be calculated from the other digits in a specific way. If this part of the data is wrong, this is an error, which our validation engine will tell us. So let's change the one into a two. And what you see is two errors here at the bottom. The first one says that the data is wrong, that the digit two should be one, but also because the ICCID is contained twice in the profile, also in the second area, it tells me that there is an inconsistency in the data, which is another type of an error, means that the ICCID in both places are different. There are also rules defining in which order content of a profile needs to occur. Let's imagine I would have coded the PU sim much more at the top which I can emulate by moving it just up here. And immediately you see a number of errors flagged here in certain other profile elements, which are related to this wrong order of the profile elements. Then there are rules regarding dependencies between different areas of the profile and different data. Means one configuration is not necessarily always right or wrong, but it depends on what is coded in a specific other part of the profile. As an example, let's look at the USIM service table. So I go into the USIM profile element, I switch from the ASIN1 notation into the editor notation, and here is the EFUST, the service table, which I select, and I go into the content of the service table over here. Services need to be backed by respective elementary files, defining the details of a service. If I enable a service which is not backed by the EF, I get an error. If I disable a service for that the EF are contained in the profile, I get a warning. Means it is not necessarily an issue, but it could indicate one. So let's look, for example, at the phone book. The phone book is not enabled. If I make it available, I immediately get an error that the respective EF are missing, of course. Just to note, what also needs to be right and can be checked by the validation rules are, for example, all the administrative data in the file control parameters, like the file size, the minimum file size, the correct short file ID. But I'm not going to demo this in more detail in this video here. Last but not least, let's see the summary of all the errors in the profile, which we put in for the purpose of the demo. This tool allows me to create a full validation report. So let me generate this and let's look at this. So I click at the Save Validation Report button and I can save it in HTML or in PDF, which I do. And I can open it immediately. And what you see here is, it starts the validation report with an overview of all the profile elements, telling me whether there's a warning or uh, even an error in one of the profile elements. And then of course it goes into to the details and lists all the warnings, errors and recommendations where I can improve my profile for correctness. What I also wanted to show is at the bottom of this report, there's a list of all the rules which have been applied to check the profile for correctness. This is what you see here. You see the rule ID, you see whether this is something related to potential error or just a warning. And you see also here on the right hand side, the source of the rule, whether it's a TCA rule, whether it is a rule defined by Comprion, complementing the specifications, whether it's an Etsy rule, for example, or whether it is a 3GPP rule. So this comprehensive list of rules has been applied to validate the profile and to find the errors which we have seen. What I showed are only some examples, trying to give you an impression of the rules you need to consider for an error-free profile. I think it became also clear that a tool which facilitates you to apply all these rules is a big advantage.